In biology this year, students will be studying life. They will learn about the structure and function, inheritance and variation in traits, natural selection and evolution, matter and energy in ecosystems, and interdependent relationships in ecosystems. My goal is that students are able to really learn and understand the topics, not just memorize facts for a test, which they will forget the next day. In order for students to really grasp the material and show me that they've mastered the topics, we will focus on higher level thinking. Students will not just sit back and listen to a lecture, memorize facts, and recite back definitions, but they'll be practicing the four C's, critical thinking and problem solving, collaboration, communication, creativity, and innovation. In our biology class this year, we will be using a variety of technology, such as mobile devices, iPads, screencasts, Twitter, blogging, and creating videos for YouTube to help facilitate this higher level learning. Students have amazing devices in their pockets and backpacks, which they use to text their friends, Snapchat, or check Facebook statuses. These devices can and should be harnessed to their full potential. Students need to learn how to find information, how to collaborate with their peers, how to communicate with their teachers, scientists, and other experts in their field. Students should be creating videos, blog posts, and content to share their thoughts and learning. These devices have the potential to be powerful learning tools. Students need to know how to learn how to use them responsibly in education and professional setting. Students will be creating a positive digital footprint that potential college admissions advisors and job recruiters will see. Students will share their learning and communicate with a worldwide audience in a professional and safe manner. When students are sharing their information with just the teacher, they're not always putting forth their best effort. But when students know that they have a global audience, a lot of times they put more thought into their work and do a better job explaining what they've learned. This biology class will not have traditional in-class lectures. The lectures have been recorded so that students can watch them at their own pace. They can rewind, pause, and fast forward as they need it. Class time can then be spent processing that information. Students will be able to use their class time for discussions, one-on-one -on -one time with the teacher, getting more in-depth help, asking questions, doing labs, and really getting a better understanding of biology. The goal of this class is that all students will be successful and get the help and support they need.